now that we have written our tests, let's go ahead and try to make them work. So the first thing we're going to do is go into our users controller. And just like we had a user logged in action, we're going to do something similar. We're going to have an ensure, say the admin is, we could say logged in, but we know what that means. And we are only going to do this for our destroy action. And in fact, we don't want to have regular users work anymore for the destroy. So we're going to, whoops, delete that. And as a result, then we need to make that new method here. So down here, we want ensure admin. And what we're going to do is we're going to grab the, we don't need the user anymore because we're, we don't care if the user we're trying to delete is related to the, the current user. So we put that back in our destroy. And what we're going to do is uh, say something like unless current user is an admin, we want to go ahead and have a danger message, like something like only admins allowed to delete users or something like that. And we're going to redirect to our root path. And there we go. We've got what we want. So let's go ahead and run our tests and, and see what happens here. So we run chug 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 and what in the world? Three failures? That's more than we had before. Five? Well, hey, there's something going on here. We need to check this out here. So we go to the top here um, and it says undefined method admin when we try to do something. Well, what are we doing? We're doing a non-authenticated user. So current user hasn't been set. So current user is nil, and then we try calling admin on nil. Oh, oh, so we need to make sure that the current user uh, really exists before we do that. So um, unless we have a current user and that current user is an admin, we're going to have trouble. Okay, there we go. Now we're, we're happier with that. Let's run it again. We've taken care of that issue. And so, chug, chug, chug. And we're looking a lot better here. Yay. Oh, no, we're not. Let's see what's going on here. All right. Um... Oh, here are some tests that kind of had forgotten about in the, the spec features. So let's go there and spec features, user pages around line 217 or so, where we test deleting a user. And it's not working. Well, guess what? It's because we changed how we have to delete a user. So the first thing we need is we need an administrative user. So now we've got that, and we know we need to log in as that administrator. Let's see here, we visit that user's path, we find the delete, we're good. Oh, we need to log in as an administrator again. Delete works, respond, produces a delete message, expect to, okay. Okay, so this has everything that we want right here. In fact, this is kind of testing our delete functionality. So let's go back to our spec uh, features authorization pages and not have this in here because that's testing functionality. And all we care about is that, that we don't have a danger message here. So let's go ahead and see if that cleans up these, these user pages. All right, so let's try this again. Chug, chug, chug. Oh, still problems. What's going on? Sometimes testing can be frustrating. All right, go back up to the top here. Uh, Non-authenticated users behaves. It's expected to redirect to login, but now it's redirecting to root. Okay. 
app controllers, user controller. So when we don't have someone logged in, oh, we're redirecting to root. We um, we only want to redirect to root if if we're not admin. If we're not logged in, we want to redirect them to login. So we need to see if we do this a little bit differently. So if we have a current user, then this will was right. But if we don't have a current user, then we want to give them a warning saying, hey, maybe you do um, not log in as admin user and redirect them back to the login path. All right. Let's see if that takes care of that issue here. Okay, check, 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 pass, pass, yay, yay, happy, happy, happy. What are these four errors here? They're back at these, these user pages here. Okay, so let's see. Spec features, users pages. This, ah, <laughs> that's what happens when you misspell something in a loosely typed language. Admin. Let's try that now. Okay, so now we actually have our right variable name. And we can be a lot happier about this testing now because we, we've kind of been vigorous about it. Yay! And it, it, it's green. Um, I hope you think this is ugly, but it passes our test. So we're going to refactor this in our next episode because we have something that passes right now.